I normally have a Guinness, but Donald Trump has driven me to heavy drinking Moscow Mule. Moscow Mule. Thank you. A lot of Republicans sitting around still saying, how did this happen? How did yeah. Trump get to be the nominee? Well, the archaeologists will be studying the ruins for a while. You're one of the most accomplished political consultants in your party. Do you feel guilty that you weren't able to stop this? Yes. <laughs> I think my, my powers are overrated and limited. There's been some criticism, much of it from the, what I call the helicopter moms around Marco Rubio, mm -hmm. that, oh, how come you guys didn't spend your money right to rise attacking Trump early? Well, Jeb did take Trump on more than anybody else, particularly Marco, who's about to get on the Trump bandwagon. But we go bless Trump early, we'd move a lot of numbers over to Cruz, a few to Marco. Our plan was to clobber him later. Well, we never got to later. We eventually did spend more money on him than anybody else, but it wasn't our key thing. If I go back in the time machine, maybe one of the arguments I would have made, and I think the other campaigns would have passed on it, was we have a systemic threat with Trump here. I'll match all you guys. Is there any particular moment, event, decision that you can remember that you say, boy, I blew that? Fundamentally, it's hard for me to see in this environment we had a scenario where we won. You know, once the debate started and it was clear that Jeb's style, which would lend itself very well to a president of the United States or even a general election candidate, was the opposite of what they were looking for in the primary. I mean, when Trump said low energy. It's Jeb Bush, low energy. What he was really saying was too polite, mm -hmm. too civil, too many big words. Jeb's not built for the stupidest campaign in the world. Was there any particular genius, uh, you think, about that low energy title? Jeb is a low energy person. Too low energy. Very low energy person. Low energy. He's more than low energy. It's, actually, it's a lot worse than that. It wasn't about energy. It was about tone. It was a smart way for Trump and his kind of weird savant gift he has to craft good insults, to take what was Jeb's strength as a president and make it a minus in the circus reality show of our debates in this cycle and this campaign. In the later debates, I think he held his own or more with Trump, but it took him a while to understand that he's in Kardashian world now, mm -hmm. which if you're a smart guy who wants to run an accretive campaign with non-grievance politics is waking up in the middle of a nightmare. You know, we spent a lot of money, didn't get many votes, but everybody I know in the Jeb operation sleeps pretty well at night. Mm -hmm. We never said anything we're ashamed of. Hey, CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.